Hi guys, welcome back to Otter's RC Garage. Today we are finally back out on the trails after a long winter and I brought the 6x6 along so this is going to be its first time out on the trails. Uh, we are at a new spot. Uh, we have walked this spot before but it's a little bit shorter of a spot, a little bit milder. Uh, should be perfect for a test run with the 6x6. Some things I didn't mention in the other video on the 6x6 or the latest ones. I did mount the body with the uh, magnets up front and I did a post in the back. Uh, just sort of simplified things. I was going to try and do the uh, fender liners and they just did not work out. Um, I'm not going to go with any fender guards. The Bronco ones I was talking about, they just weren't going to work out. They are going to look goofy and I can't really find anything else that works. And honestly, I like the way it looks how it is now. So, I'm just going to leave it as is. We're going to take it out and we're going to do some running. Also, I got a nice little windshield banner my girlfriend made me turned out really good all right so let's get out on the trail and check this new place out already something happened what came loose this place went with the center shaft oh uh, yep that center shaft kicked itself out so I have to get that reattached uh, might have to end up getting some metal ones or at least a metal one for across there. Um, everything else seems to be working good. So we'll get it fixed up. All right, we are repaired. We are repaired and ready to go. Uh, it took a bit more than what I expected. Uh, I had to actually take the uh, motor and transmission loose to get that drive shaft back together. So I'm not really sure how it even came apart in the first place, but we're back together and we're good to go uh, definitely gonna have to measure that and get a metal one that's not gonna pop apart and that can transfer that power through without a problem so once we get back I'll be measuring that there we go there we're nothing over now we just gotta find our way up this hill so we can make it up and around and continue on the trail and catch back up with everybody else again yep we did it again what the heck guys all right I think this guy's done unfortunately that was a very very short uneventful trip but I guess it is what it is so I did find a problem down inside there this tooth here actually did break um, and since that tooth is broke, it just keeps kicking the shaft out from itself. 
so yeah unfortunately that's just sort of how it goes definitely going to be upgrading that to a metal one all right we are out for attempt number two um, i did get us a driver installed sort of hard to see in there um did get some skid plates on the bottom as well um main thing uh, we upgraded was that drive shaft between the transmission and the transfer case uh, when i shortened it it weakened it up quite a bit so i got metal one the metal one should be able to uh, now withhold the torque to drive all three axles or at least let's hope so so let's get on the trail and see how it does
So the 6x6 has been doing great, even through these uh, rooted out trails and climbing right up and over things. It is a little bit noisy from all the drivetrain, but not too worried about that. We'll see, uh, we'll see how it does uh, afterwards, see if there's anything wearing hard, but it's taken every obstacle pretty nice and good. It's gonna be a perfect little trail truck. So, if you guys like this sort of stuff, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next week.